John Dillon here from visualbroccoli.com. This lesson kind of is a follow-up to a previous tutorial where I showed you some of the basics of using some of the drawing tools within PowerPoint. And that tutorial is called Drawing in PowerPoint. In that lesson, I kind of showed you how to trace this EKG using some of the drawing tools within PowerPoint itself. What I didn't show you is how I created this grid in the background. So I want to take the opportunity to show you how to make a grid within PowerPoint. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and just come up with the size here and I'm going to do this fairly quickly. And the size really depends, it's really up to you. There's a lot of different ways to do this, but I just want to keep this somewhat simple. So I just want to kind of eyeball this, maybe just make it just a, here. Let me just zoom in a little bit. There we go. And I'm just going to bring this down here and kind of get my size about to what I want. And that looks great. I'm going to go ahead and cut this so I can right click and cut. Let's go to my new slide here and I'm going to zoom out. All right. So just so we're in the same page, let's take a look at what we got set up here. So I'm right clicking, I'm formatting the shape. And what I want to do is I want to get rid of the fill. So let's get rid of fill and the line color. Let's go with a white and let's make sure the line style is at least 0.5 points. We want it to be kind of thin. The white will not be the final color, but right now we'll use white just kind of as a visual. So what I'm going to do is take this box. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit, select this and zoom in. Now, the way I would have told you to do this a few weeks ago, uh, which is the way I've done in the past, which silly me, it was way too much work, but I would go up here and I would duplicate this by control dragging or holding down the control key and dragging and doing this, then snapping into place. And you know, sometimes it doesn't always snap the way I want it to. So I'd get it working here and so on and so forth. That's one way of doing it. Oops. Let's go ahead and make sure I leave at least one box there. But how I would tell you to do it today is let's automate the process, make our life easier. Because really, who wants to fool around with trying to snap all of this together? So I'm going to go ahead and select this box and bring it up here just right here. And what I'm going to do is duplicate it. And to duplicate, I'm going to do Control D. This is very important. You must do Control or Command on the Mac plus D to get this right. Do not copy and paste. So control D to duplicate and it adds my squares just like that. And they're all touching. That's what I want. So let's go all the way down and let's go something like that. Now, since these are the only thing, these squares are the only thing on this page, I'm going to do control A to select them all, or I can come down here and just marquee around them. Regardless, I want to select them all. Now we're going to automate this and we're going to align them to the left. So I want you to go to range, align, and click on align left. And that looking good. Now I don't want it this, this far down. I want it something like this and maybe get rid of this top one. Okay. I like that there. So I want this, I'm going to select all these now, and now I'm going to group these once again. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to click on group and group. That looks good. Now, what I'm going to do here is the exact same thing. I'm going to duplicate these rows. So I'm going to do control D to duplicate. And I pretty much want to go across the page. And pretty much want to kind of line it with the top there. And I'm going to may kind of have to eyeball this a little bit. And I think I may have a little extra, but it's better to have a little extra. Now we're going to go ahead and select all. So control A. In this case, it's definitely easy to use a shortcut key. So hit the control key or the command key in a Mac and the A key for all. It selects them all. Now we're going to go up to a range again. And we're going to go to align. This time we're going to click on align top. 
All right. And that's looking good. And maybe I went across just a little bit more than I needed to here. So we'll get rid of those last boxes. And it's okay if I have one set. Yeah. That'll work out perfect. Now, this looks perfect. I'm going to select them all. And now I'm going to group them. So right click. And we're going to click on group and group. All right, they're grouped. Now, the white is too harsh here. So what I want to do is select the image again. And now because they're all grouped, I can change the attributes of all of these miniature squares within this group. So I'm going to right click on this. Format shape. And we're going to do two things in here. So we're going to go to the line color. And we're going to change the transparency of the line to 20, 90, uh, 95, actually 92%. Let's go to 92. And I'm just going to type in 92. And that's subtle, but I want it to be even more subtle. I don't, white still kind of stands out more than I want. So I'm going to change the color here from white to kind of an offshoot of the blues in the background. Again, I want it to be just somewhat subtle. So with this background, I'm using, I'm using the Indi Indigo Accent 6. And it's just really nice and soft. Now, you may have to look at this in a projector and see what it looks like, but there you go. And there we are. We're done. Now, I can certainly just copy this and paste it on this. But let's say, for example, I'm going to use this in many of my slides. I'm going to have many different EKGs. Or this does make a nice background. So what I'm going to do is actually apply this to a slide master. So I'm going to go ahead and copy it. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and right click and I'm going to cut it. And let's go to view. And we're going to go to slide master. And I could certainly create a new slide, but you know what? I know for sure I'm not going to use this style right here, this, this, uh, this particular style. So I'm just going to delete this. And now I'm going to go ahead and paste. All right, let's paste it. That looks good. In fact, I like the exact location. I'm going to go ahead and close my master. Now... I'm going to go here and say, you know what? I want my grid to be in the background here. So I'm going to right click, layout, and we choose the section header. That's the one sheet I applied it to. And look at that. And I'm going to do the same thing. I can do the same thing here where now I have a grid, but I can come back and apply that, that slide master to this as well. Well, anyway, there you go. You kind of got an idea of how to create a grid. In fact, that background, that grid, does make a very nice background, even without the EKG. Well, that's all the time we have here. I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. And as always, if you have any suggestions for tutorials, please send them our way. In fact, this tutorial pretty much came from a request from uh, somebody this week. So until the next time, hope you always find unique ways to make your presentation more editable for your audience. Take care.